Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to access your BIOS or UEFI from inside Windows 10. Let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. So first off, go to system information. This is going to tell you what type of BIOS you are running on your computer. So when you look inside system summary, you should see something listed on the right hand side here called BIOS mode. And if you are running UEFI, then you'll be able to basically use some of these tips that I'm going to show you in this video. Now, also, you can check what type of BIOS you're running by going to disk management. So let me just quickly show you this by right clicking on the start button, going to disk management and opening up this box here. What you're looking for inside here is your main drive. And if you look on here, you should see a little 100 megabyte uh, file here. And this is EFI system partition this will tell you that you are running a uefi uh, setup and this is basically how you can tell that inside disk management as well so let's quickly pop over to another computer so i can show you what a legacy uh, setup will look like so let's quickly go over to this machine here and we're going to open up disk management here and if you look at disk management you should see system uh, reserve in this case this means that it doesn't have EFI, which means it's not a UEFI setup. It's a legacy uh, type of setup. Also, if we did system information in the search, and we'll take a look inside there and see what the bias mode is for this machine here. So type system information in the search box, open up the system information application here, and you should see in system summary under bias mode here, this one is set to legacy. So you can't actually boot to the BIOS inside Windows if you're using legacy mode. You will need to use one of the function keys on your keyboard like F2, F12, Escape, F10, Delete or something like that to get into the BIOS. Let's take a look here inside Settings and go to Update and Security, then go to Recovery and then go to Advanced Startup and Restart Now. This will restart the system on our legacy system here. If we look inside, choose an option, troubleshoot, then go to troubleshoot, advanced options, you'll see there is no option available here to boot straight into the BIOS. So if you do have a legacy setup, again, you will need to use one of the function keys on your keyboard to basically get into uh, the BIOS. So let's take a look on this computer, which is UEFI. Go to start settings, update and security, then hit the recovery area here and then advanced startup and click on restart now. And this will restart the system and take you straight into uh, the uh, UEFI uh, settings. So let's go here, choose an option. So we're going to go down to troubleshoot here. So click on troubleshoot. And then once we're inside there, we can choose advanced options here. So go down to advanced options. And inside here, you can now see we have UEFI firmware settings. This is so we can get into our BIOS. So if you're running a UEFI setup, you can just get into your BIOS by clicking that. And it will reboot the system and take you straight into the actual BIOS here. Now you can also enter the UEFI BIOS by using a command in the command prompt. And I'll quickly show you that as well. So type CMD in the search box here. And this will open up the command prompt by clicking on run as administrator here. Once we've done this, you should see a little command prompt box here. And then type in this command. So you want to type in here, shut down, just like so. And then we want to do space forward slash R and then space forward slash uh, FW. And then basically push enter on the keyboard. And what this will do is give us a little prompt on the screen here saying you're about to sign out. Windows will shut down in less than a minute. Click close and you can close off the command prompt box and wait for Windows to close down. This will obviously take you then uh, straight into the BIOS. You'll get restarting and basically it will take you straight into the BIOS like so. Now, If you're wondering why there's a camera on top and there wasn't a camera on the other monitor, that's because I'm running dual monitors here. Now you can also enter the BIOS by tapping these keys on startup. If you're running a Dell, HP, Acer, Asus, Lenovo, MSI, Toshiba or Samsung, keep tapping those 
keys on the keyboard at startup and this will get you into the BIOS as well. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can access your BIOS UEFI from inside Windows 10. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.